I hear a lot of defense of folks getting to say whatever they want to folks in vulnerable positions and that it, it's, it's okay to lie. The, the, the processes that some folks have described at certain facilities, as long as you're not lying, there's nothing to be afraid of. But bad actors abound. We have, have uh, heard stories of unsanitary practices. A whistleblower nurse in Kansas at one of these facilities blew the whistle on an outbreak of genital warts because untrained volunteers were operating an internal vaginal ultrasound probe and not cleaning in between. We have heard of people getting that same invasive exam by an untrained volunteer, wondering if they could charge rape because they weren't told what was gonna happen. As we were doing research on this bill and working on the data privacy uh, bill with, with Representative Williams, we were looking at the ads being placed by these, these facilities. And we found several that said in very big letters on their website, because there's no coverage for Medicaid for abortion services, you have no option but to come to us. We'll help you because you can't get Medicaid coverage. That is a blatant falsehood in the state of Illinois. The examples go on from there. If they're not doing these things, these facilities can operate and provide the services to the people who are going there because they know what services are available at these facilities and have chosen these facilities to get their care. But to hear my colleagues from the party of government small enough to fit my uterus defend lies and deception is ridiculous. There is no compelled speech in this bill. This protects everyone's rights, please vote yes.